All right, let's take apart the Sony Xperia 1. First, we're going to remove the SIM tray. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to work our way around the back plate and pry the back off. Okay, let's lift up this tape. And then we're going to lift up the lock. And now let's pull up the cable. Now let's go ahead and remove the 21 Phillips screws. Alright, let's remove the top cover. Let's disconnect the battery cable. Now let's remove the bottom cover. So here's the speaker assembly. Let's disconnect the charger port cable, the cable for the screen, the cable over here. You also have two wire cables over here. Pop those off. Your front facing camera cable. And lastly, your vibrator motor cable down here. Okay, now we're going to remove the main board. Alright, so here's the front of the board. And this is the front of the board with the shields removed. And here's the back of the board. You have two thermal pads over here. And here's a look at it with the shields removed. There's two Phillips screws holding down the bracket that's covering the camera cables. Once you remove that bracket, you'll have access to disconnecting the camera cables. So if you're planning on replacing your screen, at this point you'll be able to do so. You just have to heat up the front and pry the screen off the frame. And your screen cable is right here, so you just pass it through the mid-frame. And then you take your new screen cable and pass it through the mid-frame, where this cable is right here. And then you reapply the new screen on and just reverse the process. Now as far as removing the battery goes, I really like what Sony has done with this. Now if you haven't removed your main board yet and you're just planning on removing the battery and replacing that, you have two pry tabs right on the bottom over here, these pull tabs right here. You'd go ahead and pull that off basically to remove the battery. But this has happened to me many times and I know it's happened to a lot of you out there where halfway through when you're pulling the tab it just rips or breaks. Then you get stuck and have to resort to using some kind of plastic tool or something to stick underneath the battery and pry it off like that. But here's where Sony comes in and you have two tabs over here that lie underneath the main board. Let's just say if these two over here rip and break while you're pulling it off, you can go ahead and use these tabs over here. those battery tabs off. Now another good thing about the pull tabs I've included in this phone, they have one underneath the vibrator motor over here. So this black pull tab right here. So basically first you'd remove the two Phillips screws holding the vibrator motor down and then you'd pull off that pull tab from underneath the vibrator motor to release the adhesive and then you'd be able to remove the vibrator motor. Now let's take off the two wire cables on the charger port board. Let's remove the two Phillips screws on the bottom right corner. Now we can go ahead and pry off the charger port. As far as removing the cable for the volume buttons and the fingerprint reader, you're going to have to remove the battery first and there's some screws on the side holding the bracket in which holds the cables in place. Okay, now it's time to reassemble the phone. Now once you have everything put back together, go ahead and apply some new adhesive and then place your back panel back over. Now 
I'm going to go ahead and power on the phone. And you're done. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.